Well, I apologize in advance <laughs> for what's about to happen, because this is Bennett Fodd. Getting odd with Bennett Fodd. <laughs> now, uh, this is getting over it, as you can see. Over there. Bow, bow, bow. Foddy, foddy, foddy. Getting over it with Benny Fo Bennett Foddy. Bennett Foddy is about, like, the most satisfying name to say. Uh, you've probably seen this game. It's really weird. It's really hard. And that's about it. Oh. <laughs> and if you haven't seen the game, now you have. It is a man in a pot with a hammer. You wangle the mouse around to make the hammer go up and down and all around. And you try and complete this weird obstacle course gauntlet with this pot man. And that's it. <laughs> I made it a budget bestie partially just because I think it's hilarious. Because, I mean, look at it. What the heck is this? It's so strange and weird. Um, can you go back? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> uh, and it's like eight bucks full price. Granted, it's just this. There's not too much to it. It's mostly for the memes. Um, and just the fact that it's... There's nothing really too much like the old podster. <laughs> Be that a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, and the region, reason I apologized at the beginning is for the hubris. I mean, that's fun, though. If it all goes bad, we can just watch me do this for 30 minutes. <laughs> Human windmill. <laughs> um, duh. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, like, over this tree. <laughs> this tree, like, is not even the first real obstacle of the game. But, uh when I was trying to, like, test things and, like, get the controls right, I was having a lot of trouble, so. God has cursed me, cursed me for my hubris. But we'll see how far in FOD we can get uh, without going too insane. Because there are no this save points. more intense than starting over. That's if Bennett Foddy. He's the guy who made the game. Or if you left your wallet at While he's talking, I'll try and get over the tree. After spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Not bad. <laughs> Got over the tree. Um, so yeah, that, that guy talking is the developer of the game. Bennett Foddy. <laughs> I love this pot, man. Um, he has weird insight into the game and game development throughout the adventure of trying to get over things. The titular Foddy. Holy dang! Alright, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. I probably won't let him talk all the time. And quit the game. Don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Okay. This is going... The so game is a homage better. to a free oh. game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. 
The author of that game was Jazzoil, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as this polished This is going products. so well. Keep talking, Foddy. The more you talk, the more I do well. So, I could at any point completely, and very likely will, like that, yeep myself backwards and lose progress. Oh, you just yeah. lost a lot of progress. <laughs> That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. I am shocked that I have been able to make so much consistent Oof, sorry about that. prog, though, even at all, as I say, as I'm blasting myself backwards. <laughs> yeah, but there are speedrunners who do this. I think, like, the world record, at least that I've seen, is like a minute and 20 to finish the game. Uh, and I'm, like, probably, like, 5% of the way through it at this point, if, if that. <laughs> As you can see, I keep yeeting myself. Another thing I like about this game is that it's just all mouse. The controls are really easy. You just press the start button. You get into it. You just wangle the mouse around to kind of figure it out as you go to try and develop techniques <laughs> for how to how to fod yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Not again. No. <laughs> oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. It really is the Dark Souls of Fadi. <laughs> so I imagine this game is kind of a love it or hate it thing for most people. I'm kind of in the middle where I can see the entertainment in it. I wouldn't ever normally play it myself, just probably alone. Uh, I feel like it's better in this kind of format where you can laugh about all the ridiculousness and failure, um, or like almost as a party game. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Come on, Foddy. Oh. No, Foddy! Oh. <sighs> Foddy? Oh no. In some ways it's a shoulder workout trying to wangle the mouse around like this and finesse it so so gently. And it's a little quappy <laughs> just in that this hammer thing doesn't work exactly how you would feel it might. Foddy. Fod. Fod! Oh yeah, Fod. That was a good Fod. Oh yes! 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 No! <laughs> uh. oh. Perfect. But then you do this, and you get to like the next part, and you're like, oh. Nowhere to go but up. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B-game. A B-game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player Coffee. is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing. Oh. Just like this. Being... Being on an angle that shouldn't be possible with my coffee cup. In danger of losing everything. I'm honestly shocked I've gotten this far, though. I'm pretty proud. Only ten minutes in, and I'm not at the tree. That is... Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, 
You're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. Go completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method, Fine. Or the correct equipment, or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in Sexy Hiking is real. Okay. And another thing I like about this game is, although, like, theoretically, like he was talking about, you could... kind of beat this at any time just like straight off the bat you'll see my hopefully this this, this remains true uh i got like some fast progress back up whereas it took me all that time to get here before after kind of getting a lay of the land a little bit and learning stick movements uh and what might work better than uh, something else for any, any of these obstacles. It gets a little bit easier to uh, make up ground when you get yeeted off. Of course, if you're not a speedrunner and you're any normal human, you're still probably going to do what I'm doing right now and go backwards like all the time hey but maybe <laughs> you can get back and make some decent progress you can be proud of ta-da this is one of like a few soft checkpoint ish things where like I'm in kind of a little enclosed area here at least for the time being that makes it a little bit more difficult to go backwards it's still possible um, <laughs> I'm not good at going left wow all right but you can see over there this cliff I shouldn't wangle myself too much, I guess. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding. You could still yeet yourself the all the way back to the beginning at that point. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this map. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test yeah. it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game, <laughs> you're building with ideas. Come on, Fod! And that can be like working with quick sets of Come on! You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden over them, there, until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. So, I like his little classical music. I like his Australian voice, I think it is. I like his fun little insights on, on the FOD. So, I've watched videos on this and that speed run because I wanted to see the ridiculousness of it. Uh, not like right before this, but in general. And this was the part that I thought if I was able to get here, uh, which I didn't think I would be able to, especially not this quickly. Um, <laughs> so we're losing it now. Uh, Fod, come on, Fod. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that part. <laughs> Fod! Okay. 
Fod. Fod yourself. Fod it. Because it's like a freaking straight vertical climb. And you have to hook onto the lights. Uh, what I really don't want to do is just swing myself back over to the r or the left, pushing on my right here, <laughs> like that. Okay, get nope. I'm trying to position myself as close as I can to that rock, but it's not. Playing nice. How do I like creep my arms closer? <laughs> that sure doesn't seem to be doing it. <laughs> uh, no! Stop it, Fod! You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first I time. I actually haven't done this part before. Fod. I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad! That's not... <laughs> this game's probably gonna make for some weird facial expressions. So, yeah, you gotta hook onto the right light, pull yourself up, I believe, then push yourself and yeet to hook onto the left light, and then get up from there. I just don't know how to fit the hammer. Oh, dang it. All right, Fod. Get it together. Get Fadi. Fadi, come on. You're freaking me out, man. <laughs> what if this game was like Octo Dad, where you like had split control of the character too. One person did like the left arm and one person did the right arm. I wonder if there's any mod versions where somebody's done that. It feels like some masochist would have done that. Go over to the other side, Fod. <laughs> okay. That's not terrible. <laughs> it's not right, but it's not ter- uh. So you'll see why I was uh, dreading this obstacle. <laughs> it's hard to go vertical as a man in a pot. And had I gone the wrong way there, I would have been basically right at the very beginning after the tree, so that would have been the worst. I almost wonder, am I missing any <laughs> controls? No? No, I'm not. It's just like, I feel like I've seen people, like, pull themselves towards the hammer. And I'm not feeling like I'm getting away do that. Maybe it's just because it's like on an angle and keeps slipping. Maybe I need to really be pushing from the other end. <laughs> just little little fods. <laughs> I feel like I really need to be in position to the left of that rock. <laughs> to have a better chance of doing this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I 
feel like I'm in danger. I feel like I'm in danger of going off. <sighs> this wasn't the way I was thinking of it, but <laughs> sure, still dangerous. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have times where you feel like you're more in control, and this is not one of those times. Okay, that, that seems workable. That seems workable. <laughs> hubris? The hubris of FOD? So how y'all doing? <laughs> Is this... Is this relaxing for you? Is this what you like to do in your free time? <laughs> I hope so. I hope there's some sick comfort you find in fodding it. <sighs> I think I can do it. I think I can do it. <laughs> I just need to figure out the movement of that second Dang it. lamp transish. If I can get to the second lamp, I think we're golden. Because the problem is, he keeps pushing himself up. Then swinging the wrong way. Gotta do like the opposite of what my body wants to do. <laughs> Come on. You got any more tips for me, Fod? Any more words of game development wisdom? Probably not unless I do this. Nope. You didn't get me today, man. Not today. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, Faldi. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Prepare to be bamboozled. <laughs> No! <laughs> it's just like, how... How do you... Not... Get stuck? <laughs> huh! Oh, that was close. That was very close. Huh! <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> this thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. And that's that's Bennett Foddy for ya. That's the Fodster. That's the Fodmeister. Fodmeister General. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> as soon as you think you got it, it's back down to the beginning. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm not feeling that bad, Foddy. It's okay. It's pretty funny. I do like the yodeling, though. Unpopular opinion? Yodeling is pretty fun. Yodeling should make a comeback in 2021. Get on it, Billie Eilish. <laughs> F 
Fadi! Remember when I had no trouble with this after a while and now it's got me stuck? Oh lordy. This guy talking about cornbread and cheese? That's my favorite song. <laughs> oh God. All right, I need to recalibrate. Surprised this is the whole song. <laughs> How? How did this happen? This thing on your Spotify playlist. <laughs> if you can find this one for your playlist, Nick, for like the boys are back in town, I'd be impressed. Ah, <sighs> piss. Soul would have no rainbow, had the eyes no tears. John Vance Jr. John Vance, that's uh. I'm not sure I agree with that one. All right, Fod. Back to business. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. All right. This needs to be the catalyst for the Bennett Foddy and real life challenge. <laughs> Man, that would be a great Halloween costume. <laughs> Just go around in a pot with a hammer. Uh, too bad it's November. Nobody would understand. Some kind of weird pervert. <laughs> okay. We did it once. Kind of. I mean, we got up there. It was just failure immediately after. Gentle. All right! That's cool. I didn't think this would happen again. Oh, but this might happen again. And I'm not a fan of that. For years now, hey! soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened, because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed oh. and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in silence. Over time, we've poured more and more revenue into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. B games. B movies, B music, B philosophy. B's nuts. Well, come on. 
I freaking did that obstacle immediately and then did the exact same thing as last time. I'm doing just astronomically better than I would would have thought though <laughs> overall. So, no matter how much FOD happens to me, I am, uh, I am satisfied. Sad, sad fizzfied, FOD, F. Yep, 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 uh. The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. Shut up, lady. How about that? How you like that, FOD? How you like that, minute 25 speedrunners? <laughs> Alright. Back to the real deal. Gotta breathe. <laughs> too much, too much tension. <laughs> oh, I just find this game to be very funny. Just the way he moves, the ridiculousness of his weird pot. <laughs> Even this, I feel like. There's potential. There's potential for me to learn. Get, get over there. Uh, this is more fun than I thought it would be. Yes! Okay, carefully. 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 Oh, okay. Hit! Nope. <laughs> Try it again. Okay. Okay. Feel better about this. We did this like the first try last time. Okay. Now just don't be an idiot. And we'll be all right. So this is an interesting obstacle. <laughs> In that you don't go over it so much. <laughs> As under. <laughs> but it seems that I don't have yet have those skills. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I feel within me a peace above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet conscience. William Shakespeare. Why do I feel like Fod in some ways would be like one of like those intellectual serial killers that like all of his murder is like weirdly strategic and like, based on a Babylonian myth. <laughs> what are we looking at with time? Alright. Probably not going to make you suffer through much more of this. But... Come on, Fod. This part is seemingly relatively easy. Get up, get up there. You cannot now believe that you will ever feel better. But this is Fod, not true. Fod, it's honestly You're okay. Sure to be happy this part, again. this part's okay. And knowing this, truly believing it, will this make part, you less miserable now. Uh, yet, Abraham Lincoln. I not. Oh, there we go. 
Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Catch it! Grand, infinite, oh. and unsorted. Fardmeister! <laughs> oh man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I think would be fun? made me think of this. Other... Alright, Foddy. Just leave it. Leave it to Foddy. I'm just gonna get somewhere where I feel relatively safe. Okay. Uh, so, what made me think of this... <laughs> Is not really at all related, other than the bed at Foddy challenge. Which, it really isn't related either. I, I want to get a bunch of friends together and, and go to, like, an airsoft place. <laughs> How is that related? You tell me. <laughs> Shut up, Edna Hicks. I guess maybe it was related more in my mind, just based on like weird, weird challenges, and I wanted to play like weird games of airsoft. And then some of this rubble looked like it would be like a cool airsoft arena. <laughs> so if anybody wants to come to Indiana, play some airsoft, <laughs> we can we can figure that out. <laughs> I cannot believe I've made it this far. I've said that like four times, but it's more true every time. <sighs> that one's bad. <laughs> Alright. I think that's probably gonna be the harbinger of the end. <laughs> but I'm going to try to refod myself to make the uh, hubris not so hube, as they say. <laughs> I mean, look at this. That is a man who's learned how to fod over these last few minutes. I wonder why he chose to use all these weird oldies music tracks. Probably because they're like royalty free by now or something. <laughs> That's what I need commentary on, Fod. What's up with the music? I could get sucked into doing this for a while. <laughs> I guess that's why people play it, huh? They can't give up. I hate this girder. It's so slippery. Frickin' girder! Okay. 
I'm gonna just spend a couple more minutes trying to get a surge of success back to where I was. <laughs> At least, hopefully, past the vertical climb bit. And then I can feel good about myself again. <laughs> Body. <laughs> yes. Okay, carefully. Carefully now. Ooh. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling great. Feeling excellent. Bad. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Mary Fry. Mary? I don't know what that means. Can we get farther than we ever have? That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do, Fod. If I can get inside this thing, that will be a success beyond anything we could have imagined. Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh... <laughs> Thanks for fodden. I should probably stop wiggling around because any amount of wiggle is almost certain death. Uh, <laughs> I'd say I'm probably like 30% of the way through it. Something like that. Maybe a little more. Um, but of course in the fod, you're only ever as far as your failure. So anything could... Uh, Anything could happen at any moment. But... Before remember... <laughs> let me know if you want to see any more Foddy. Because it's, cause it's silly. But now remember... You're... Not... Only as far as your failure. Unlike Foddy because you're a good little person.